What do you do when you're exhausted, tired, and stressed, and you worry that burnout is right around the corner? I know lots of people who experience this, people either that I'm coaching or that come up to me after a keynote and they say, I really want to be able to implement the things that you talk about, but I just don't have anything left to give. And I get it. I mean, I've been there too. You know that where you prioritize too many things, when you're juggling kids and work and volunteering. In other words, when you are doing the best you possibly can and yet you look at your life tired at the end of a busy day, busy week, and you think it's still not enough. Well, it is enough. The question is, how do you get back to a place where you can feel recharged enough to believe it again? Well, I actually have a tool on my website, greatnessmagnified.com under cool stuff that actually talks about the 10 best ways you can prioritize your life. So once you grab those tools, review them and maybe pick one that you want to implement. And here's the other thing that you can do. Ask yourself these three questions. Number one, what do I most want? What is the most important priority? Is it time for fitness? Is it getting more leisure in? Is it getting a job promotion? Going back to school? Having more family time? Getting off the screen? What do you most want? And then the next question is, what is possible? How can you get closer to what you most want? Let's say you want to exercise more. Could you set your alarm 15 minutes earlier and get in a little bit just so that you get on that momentum? Could you join a gym that's closer to your home? Your home? Could you explore different options that you perhaps you haven't tried because you didn't really like the other options? Maybe you can find something that you love. What is possible? It's essential to start with what you most want and then when you know what you most want, get really creative about what's possible. And then of all those ideas that you generate about what do you most want, what is the one thing you're going to try? When you'd say, okay, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds. Well, that is a huge, big goal and it's completely overwhelming. What is something smaller and more manageable? And what is the very next step to get there? All of these things fit in our work life, it fits in our personal lives, and of course, in all the other things that we do. But if there's one thing you take from this vlog, please know, if you're tired, if you're exhausted, if you're frustrated, it's not because there's anything wrong with you. It's because you're amazing and you're trying to do so many things because you're that capable, in demand, and needed. So you don't have to deplete yourself to still be amazing. In fact, the least selfish thing you could do is to make some of those choices, put some intention towards prioritizing what's most important so you can really be the best version of yourself for your family, in your community, and in your career. My name's Sarah McDaniel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to grab that resource on Greatness Magnified so that you can prioritize what's most important in your life. Mm -hmm.